Well, good to see you again. I just got my Phoenix 24-7, and this is the latest model, as far as I know. Um, they put this out a few years ago and had very good reviews, but I, I found that most people would eventually give up the 24-7 cycle and just put it on maximum and run it on maximum. And I think Phoenix had listened to a lot of the complaints uh, or concerns or issues they what people had because they were showing good growth with medium low to medium plants with this with this LED uh, lamp but um, uh, they were also having some algal growth as well so uh, one of the one of the things that uh, people had talked about uh, and I believe Phoenix had listened was that uh, there's no way to customize the spectrum this model, the CC, is customizable. So I'm going to find out what that is. So here we are. I just got it. I opened the box up. And in the next uh, month or so, we'll find out how it does on my 40-gallon breeder. supply the feet I believe the controller would be in this box now there was some issues with the controller the percentage of them were just not working well for some of the people back from a couple of years back. Um, I'm hoping that Phoenix had fixed that issue uh, with this controller and that it wouldn't be a problem anymore, but we'll see. Looks like dangling from this side um, is the uh, infrared and this was one of the new things that they added. I think you can get it either on the customizable or even on the standard edition where this new infrared uh, indicator, uh, the, the, or receiver I should say, also has an indicator to tell you what, uh, what setting you have it at. So I'm not quite sure how that works, but people are happy to see that they did that. Because it's easy to get the remote out, change settings, and not really know what the light's on. I forget it and, th and this little uh, it receiver has the indicator on it as well to help that help out with that so there it is it's very it's not the thin uh, super thin like the other Phoenix but uh, like the stingray and some of the others that came out it has like a wing shape to it and we'll put this on and uh, show you how it looks and I'm separating the bracket which by default is on the on the feet for the uh, edgeless glass top tanks but my 40 gallon breeder of course has the plastic trim going around the top so I just have to remove that and uh, put this together and I'm ready to go so looking at the tank from a distance you can see the LED uh, lights that are on there currently are causing a distraction. Uh, this new design that we're putting on with the Phoenix 24-7, of course, uh, it has the LEDs better inset, so you don't really have that as bad. And even better than that, looking up top here, I can actually tilt this on, uh, on its feet. I can rock it back and forth and tilt it in such a way. So I have it pulled forward a little and tilt it back just enough that it it does a better presentation in the water. And of course, when I'm sitting away from the tank, I no longer see the LED lights up above. 
and I'm not distracted by it anymore. My first impressions are that the fish look beautiful, the plants look beautiful. I, I, I'm loving the light. It's more light and it's a full color range. And um, I'm going to have some fun in the next day adjusting the colors to the time cycle. And that's the nice thing about the customizable 24-7 uh, um, package is for each of the time phases that the light works its way through during the day, I can now adjust that to my liking. Having the uh, first look through the demo or just even hitting the different times of day, I noticed there was a lot, a lot of changes I wanted to make in the kind of the off hours. The main time, the main hours of the day between 12 and 6, um, I'm really happy with. But 9 o'clock hour, I wanted it a little different color and I wanted it a little less overall. And, and in the morning, I wanted a little different in the morning as well. So I'll be working on that to get it just the way I want. And that's really the beauty of the customizable 24-7. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me again. And we'll catch you next time. And for your viewing enjoyment, a couple of bloopers. You know, I'm trying to do a video here. What? No. Hey. I don't see a thing. All right, get out. Get out. What are you doing? Get out of there. You act like you called or something. <clears throat> well, I just got my 24-7 from Phoenix. Phoenix? Phoenix. No. Get out. Get out. out.